Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Blues Focus TV for another video this week. Crazy, crazy week, and I'm sure it will just continue from here as well. A uh, busy summer for Blues and an exciting one at that as well, uh, as I'm sure you're all aware of already. Um, so some more content again for you guys today. And um, we're going to be going over the uh, the fixture list, uh, looking at some key dates, some key fixtures and reviewing um, Blues's uh, first few games and uh, how tough they could actually be. We'll obviously look at a few other key dates towards the end of the season as well, but we'll mainly focus probably on the earlier fixtures as uh, they're not too far away at all now. Um, so, yeah, let's look at them. Obviously, tough first game, Sheffield United away, recently relegated from the Premier League, have kept the majority of their players and they've just employed a um, new manager as well, Slavisa Jukanovic. Obviously, he's already got promotion experience in this league with Fulham and Watford and um, a very highly rated manager at this level. So a uh, good appointment by Sheffield United and they won't be easy to beat. But if we know Blues on an opening day is that we seem to turn over teams that we just shouldn't on the opening day. And that those past two seasons have been um, playoff pushing Brentford, who have obviously last season went on to get promoted, but we still beat them on the opening day, 1-0 again. Um, so it's a shame we've got no Brentford this year for an opening day victory. But uh, hopefully um, we can get an opening day victory at Bramall Lane instead. Uh, Blues actually have a relatively good record at Bramall Lane. Um, we seem to either win or draw, rarely lose, which is positive. Hopefully um, that, that kind of run continues into the new season and we could get something from that first game. Me personally, I would settle for a draw against a Slavisi Kanovic Sheffield United side. Um, that's for sure. Um, so, no, tough start for Blues, uh, especially away from home as well. And then, you know, two tricky games after that, both uh, home games. And um, that's our first home game being Stoke City, um, who will look to have a positive summer transfer window, I'm sure. And uh, with Tyrese Campbell back from injury, they could be a real force next season. So it'll be interesting to see what they can do. And um, yeah, it's not going to be an easy one for Blues, but we seem to always turn over Stoke at St Andrews. So I back Blues to get three points from that one, um, but it won't be easy. And then obviously the game after that, you've got Bournemouth at home. That one won't be easy, especially if they employ Scott Parker. You know, they'll look to have a, uh, an, a promotion pushing season and I wouldn't be surprised if they got promoted. So another tough early game for Blues. I take a point, but, um, you know, it's going to be a tough ask really. Um, but hopefully that St Andrews crowd, uh, if there is a crowd, which hopefully there should be, um, can help get the boys across the line. But we shall see. Um, anyway, so let's look at some more key dates, I'd say, uh, throughout the uh, entire fixture list. And that is, you know, we'll, we'll be playing Derby at home in the first game of September. Uh, Forest at home uh, in the first game of October. So, um, yeah, and then obviously we'll be playing Baggies away on the 16th of October. So um, that'll be a big game. Uh, always love a local derby. Um, and it would be nice if we could finally turn over the Baggies for a change because our record against them is as good as it is against Villa these days. So, you know, um, is what it is. Anyway, moving on uh, to some other key dates. Uh, we played Derby away in the last game of January. Um, Stoke away on the 19th of February uh, what else we got West Brom at home on the first game of April and um, a big one that Blues fans <clears throat> I know everyone's already looking forward to I'm looking forward to it it could be it has the potential to be one of the best away days for years and that is Blackpool away on an Easter Monday that one could get messy very excited for that one and, um, yeah, hopefully there'll be plenty of fans there um, to, uh, I suppose, say, uh, give, give a warm welcome to uh, Blackpool down the beach. Should be interesting. Um, obviously, Forest away is on the 9th of April as well. Uh, Coventry at home is on the 15th of April. Uh, when's Cov away? That'll be a good away day. Uh, Coventry away is on the 23rd of November. Um, that'll be uh, an interesting one since we're no longer their landlords, uh, but I'd certainly be excited for a trip to the Rico, that's for sure. Um, and then our last two games of the season, 
so the last away day of the season will be a trip to Wales, which is, uh, so that'll be Cardiff away. And then uh, the last game of the season seems to be a recurring theme these days. Blackburn away, um, last no, Blackburn at home, actually, on the last game of the season. So at least it's a home game. It's always good to wrap up your season with a home game. And um, so you can give, you know, your, the lap of honour uh, for the fans and stuff like that. And it's just always a good atmosphere, especially in May time. So um, that'll be nice. And a, a winnable fixture as well, I'd like to think. So uh, we'll see. We'll see come the end of the season anyway. A lot can change during that space, as we'll all know. Um, but yeah, no, those are some of the, the, the sort of particular fixtures that I would pick out um, to keep an eye out for. Um, but yeah, an exciting season ahead. I think this is a very open championship this season. You know, anyone, it's, it's kind of all there for the taking. There isn't that many early favourites, only one or two. So I'd say if Blues were to have a really good season, this would be one of the best chances to do it uh, since it's such an open division this year and anyone could achieve anything. And that's normally the case in the championship anyway, but I just think this year more so. Um, maybe one of the fixtures to keep an eye out for, you know, a bit of a, I suppose, a Barry Fry derby or whatever you want to call it. Um, newly promoted Peterborough. We play them September 18th away and um, we play them at home. When's that? Go on, tell me. Uh, play them at home December 29th. So uh, not long after Christmas. That would be interesting. And one key fixture I forgot as well is the Boxing Day fixture. Fulham away. I reckon that has a, it has the capability of being a class away day, but it will be a cold one, that's for sure. Uh, it's never nice uh, to be down next to the Thames in the winter, but Fulham is always a good away day anyway. Um, I think any London away day is a good away day for Blues. We always seem to do da- uh, do well down in London. So, um, yeah, exciting stuff, exciting times, and I can't wait to get stuck into the new season and also bring you more content during that season as well. But I'm just excited to be back down the Blues um, with all the fans again, and it should be great. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all down there as well. Um, just as so long as we can all get back there as soon as possible, I'm happy, really. And uh, yeah, should be good. But thank you for joining me again, guys, as always. Uh, always great to chat and just cover the latest Blues news. And uh, it was exciting uh, just to go over all the fixtures. And it's just kind of, I don't know, it's just making me all buzzing. Can't wait for all those fixtures I've just spoken about. And it should be good. Um, but anyway, guys, I shall see you in the next video, whatever that may be. I don't know anymore these days. Everything keeps happening at Blues uh, just out of nowhere. But we shall see. Um, but anyway, see you in the next one, guys, and keep right on.